Hello everyone, GPAce here and welcome to another video. Today I'm driving in the Nations Cup. I really didn't qualify too well for the race that I was competing in. 13th. Looking forward to this race. I've been practicing for the last few days, getting ready. I've done really well in the first two rounds, and this is round three, so if I can just get a good score here, I need to be in the top five. So this is the first lap, so we do want to be careful. I'm just approaching the first turn as cautiously as I possibly can, not wanting to wreck anyone. When I notice that there is somebody blasting up the side and decides that they're going to pinball everybody in the first corner and literally just destroyed my race. It hadn't even been one corner and my race completely ruined. <sighs> like what the heck happened back there? Really, let's take a look at this. So what is going on? Jeff? Weaslin, YT, I assume that means he has a YouTube channel, is blasting up. It's a little bit farther back from me. I see him coming. I move to the right here. You'll see me move over quite a bit. But look, he's got a clear vision down to the corner and thinks he's going to be able to stop. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't assume that. But... He's going to go for it. Everybody else is in a nice line, slowing down, trying not to ruin. Everybody gets through the corner. No problems. Right to the 12th car. No problems. Everybody's getting through the corner. And boom. We get a bowling ball coming down smashing one car, creating K. Hayes to go flying in front of two other cars, affecting your daddy, affecting the car up the road there, oh, gets hit as well, the car behind gets hit, and I'm trying to avoid as much as possible here. I see what's happening, and... After hitting your dad, Jeff Weaslin comes over and smacks me right off the track. So he has hit one, two, three, four, five cars that he has hit in the first corner. And look, oh, oh and he ghosts. So Ricky Bobby goes right through him, sails right through him, and uh, is going to collect me. So Ricky Bobby also contributes. Because here I'm almost recovered from that, and I get tagged, and that's pretty much my race done there. Coming up is Dr. Death, also making a move. So that's it. First corner. My race is done. So let's see. Oh, he gets a three-second penalty. Let's see what he does on his first lap. He's already hit five cars. Well, and it uh, looks like he is getting himself ready to knock Dr. Death off the track. So this will be car number six. And, you know, Dr. Death is trying to make the turn. Um, he's running out of space. He shouldn't be in that position. He has put himself in that position knowing that the car on the outside is going to get hit. And sure enough, he knocks Dr. Death right off the track and into the wall. Not once, but twice. Actually, Dr. Death almost saved it. But uh, Jeff Weaslin made sure he put an end to that. So now he's hit six cars. He's destroyed six people's race. And he's still on lap one. Here he is, 200 yards back, 200 yards back. And somehow he's going to plow into these cars in front of him. 
So he has no intention of stopping. His main intent here is to knock your daddy clear off the road so that he can continue on. He's not stopping for anybody. He really is at a point right now that he's just destroying pretty much, I don't know, six people's race so far. Six people's race. And we're on lap one. Oh, he got an extra two seconds. So he's got five seconds worth of penalties. And I, oh, he's not done yet. So here he's coming up on the inside. He's like he's on a qualifying lap. There's no other cars on the track here. Obviously, it's only him. He's going to zip up the inside. He's going to knock Qual Rider basically right off his line um, and probably right into the guy in front of him. There he goes. Boom. Get out of my way. I'm coming through. I'm Jeff Weaslin. So... Boom, boom. Knocks those two guys. Well, he doesn't quite touch the second guy, but zips through. Oh, hits the wall. And now he's got his next targets in front of him. Somehow he doesn't... Oh, there he goes. He gets your daddy there and has to serve his five-second penalty. If he didn't have to serve the five-second penalty, I'm sure he would have wiped up another three cars. So that's lap one. Lap one. He's hit at least 10 cars, and he's ruined seven drivers' race. And he's only on lap one. But I don't quite understand this. Oh, I think that was Kay Hayes trying to get some payback. And here comes Kay Hayes down the straightaway. And, uh, yeah, he's going to try to pit him, which I don't agree with. I, don't, I wouldn't have done that. I would just you know, try to get by the guy and pass him. So... Here we are, up on lap two. He's destroyed seven people's race. He's hit 11 cars already. He's only on lap two. He is coming up into this corner, and he, boom, just destroyed that guy, knocked right into the back of him. I sure he had no intentions of stopping whatsoever. He's just gonna come around the corner. He's gonna line this guy up. And he's just going to knock him flying. And I can tell because if we look at his brake pedal, he's not on the brake at all. Usually you're on the brake here, getting ready to set up for this corner. He's not on the brake. He's got one thing in mind. Take out the guy in 11th place. Mick Forty, you're done. Sorry. You got in the way of Jeff Weaslin. And you're done. See you later. You are only the eighth car that I've ruined the race of. You know, if you were a respectful driver, you would pull over here. He gets a five second penalty. But you know, you hit a guy, you let the guy go by. You don't just drive on like nothing happened because this guy doesn't drive with respect. He has zero respect for anybody else on the track. He has zero respect for the time that anybody might have put into this race. Um, and his main goal is just to, you know, knock people off. He has no skill when it comes to driving. The only thing that he knows how to do is bump people off the track. And the guy's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> like, what are his races called? Watch me destroy seven car race, seven people's race. There, he's serving his five-second penalty. You know, I can't even imagine. I'm sure this isn't on his YouTube channel. Like, you know, it shows him as a completely dirty driver. And there he goes. He drives off the track there. You know, it's frustrating. You know, it's, it's, uh, this is what makes Gran Turismo frustrating and difficult to play. Oh, he's into the wall. And he quits. Because, of course... He's destroyed eight people's race, and he's in 14th, so why would he stick around? No, he's just going to quit like he wasn't even here. So we go back to the race. This is me on the first lap. My car is damaged. I can barely keep it on the road. Glock Pants and I are back and forth here. I'm going to come up to the corner here. I'm going to think I have a move. I'm going to totally outbreak myself. And I'm going to bump Glock Pants off the track. 
So what do I do? I slow down, I pull over, I let Glock pants go by. That's the way it's done, Jeff Weaselin. You don't just run somebody off the track and not respectfully back off. Glock pants lost it there. And I passed him and I overbroke. So my race at this point, still on lap one. My mind is just completely like, you know, I'm basically infuriated. I went down into corner one as cautiously as I possibly could, and I was just taken out. Taken out. And now I'm just driving all over the road. But this is what happens when other drivers have zero regard for anybody else on the track. They ruin the race. My race is completely ruined. I'm driving around by myself for the next three laps until I'm just gonna go into the pit. I'm gonna make my mandatory pit stop. And, you know, I'm pretty much know that my race is done. Do I quit? No, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna keep driving. Even though, you know, it just, it again, my frustration in practicing getting ready, having two great rounds, being competitive. I'm second in my country right now, number two. And I get into a race, I only have one race to race. This was it, to improve, and I get into a race with a guy who dis didn't care. Decided that the only thing that mattered in this race was him. And he destroyed my race, he destroyed Ricky Bobby's race. He destroyed your daddy's race. Your dad's race, sorry. You know, he just continued to destroy. Kay Hayes' race destroyed. Dr. Death's race destroyed. Qual Rider's race destroyed. Nikki. Mickey Forty, Mick Forty, however you pronounce your name, his race was completely destroyed. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven racers. And then he quits because he didn't want to be in 14th. He didn't want to have a lousy race. You know, there is Ricky Bobby up the road. I've left this little bit in because I think it's important to show how great racing can be in Gran Turismo when you have two drivers that are driving respectfully. Hard, but respectfully. It can be done. Gran Turismo can be a great game. A great game. If we don't have guys like Jeff Weaslin wrecking it, ruining it, we can have great racing. Now, Ricky Bobby and I find ourselves in 13th and 14th second last and last in this race because as you saw our races were destroyed but you know we're still racing we're still in the race we're still we're still competing and you know these tracks are designed for passing in only certain spots not every spot can you pass and one of the places to pass is on this straightaway where you get a good run on the car you get into the slipstream, you pull out, you pass, you outbreak in the corner, and you cleanly make the pass. I didn't bump into Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby didn't bump into me. We got through the corner. We made a pass. No contact required. And Ricky Bobby isn't done with me. He is aggressively on my tail, and he is going to fight for the position back. But. I've raced Ricky Bobby before. The guy is a respectful racer. He races respectfully. He could have bumped me off there, just like Jeff Weaslin did a few laps back to everybody else. He could bump me off at this corner. He could run me right off the track, but he doesn't. He races me. He races me in a racing game. Can you imagine two cars racing? But Ricky Bobby got me here. He's going to take me, and I'm looking in my mirror, and I make a mistake, and he's going to capitalize on that mistake. And I know I make the mistake, 
And I'm not going to run him off the track. I'm not going to make it difficult. Like, I make the mistake. And I know it as soon as I make it. Right through this corner. I know I'm done. And Ricky Bobby is going to take advantage. And he's going to go right up the side of me. He's not going to bump me. He's not going to take me out. I'm not going to take him out at this corner. He got past me. What a beautiful pass. Congratulations, Ricky Bobby. And I overdrove and drove right into the wall. All on my own. I don't need any help to drive into the wall, frankly. And that's another point. We all make mistakes in this game. We don't need help. And, uh, you know, this really turned into be one of those races that made me not want to play Gran Turismo anymore. Because I'm going to finish 14th. And I'm going to lose DR. And I'm not going to get any points to progress in the Nations Cup. I had one race. This was it. This was my one race. And unfortunately, I got in the lobby with somebody who just didn't care and uh, thought that they would just destroy uh, people's races and ruin it for them. And that's kind of what I'm doing here at the finish line. I'm just contemplating how much this game can frustrate you and how much I just don't want to play anymore. But, you know, I'll get over it. Uh, unfortunately, that's the way it ended. 14th. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. GPAs out.